Hey Internet, welcome back to another episode of Road to 120 Archaeology. I think we're on episode 19 now. Alright, so we did a daily challenge. Turn it in, get 68k. Cool. So we're averaging roughly about 600k a day XP. So probably within the next two to three days, we'll get this to 113. Okay, we'll use our keys. I didn't use them today, so. I don't buy keys, by the way. I just um, have the normal two that's given for uh, members and just the one from daily challenge. So I'm just focusing on XP. So if I don't get lamps, then I'll focus on the stars. And we're all we're going to use all of them for archaeology. Okay, proteins. So go for stars. Cool. Okay, 25k. Oh, my clan is popping off for some reason. Oh, nice. They got a drop. Okay, cool. Right, collections. Bent nose. So yeah, on daily I just um, get my artifacts by um, using the fixate spell. So you get three of these for free when you have the master archaeology um, set. Okay. So we're just pretty much going to rinse and repeat um, at Stormguard for the next 10 minutes or so. Okay. Two piece. Um, what's my charge at? Okay. I think I can do two charges. All right. Let's go to Stormguard. So it's more of the same until we get to 113. I generally don't like play too long. Um, maybe like three, four hours um, on RuneScape. Maybe six if I'm really grinding something, but I no longer do like all-nighters and stuff like that. That's, that was when I was like maybe 13, 14 when I started playing. But even then, like, I only did all-nighters maybe once or twice. For RuneScape, I mean, it's not good for you. And like the only reason why I did it was like I think it was like a limited event that was going to run out. But I soon realized that, yeah, no, nah, it's not worth your health. Your health it comes first. So, and at the end of the day. What do you really have to show for it, you know? Like, so, yeah. But yeah, uh, as an adult, I don't recommend doing all nighters. All right. Oh, forgot to turn it on, as I always do. That's all right.
Okay, uh, probably gonna talk for a little bit. Uh, what can I talk about? So, probably after the recording, I'm gonna do my monthly troll invasion and get a little bit more XP for that. I just realized it's the beginning of the month. Um, yeah. Hmm. I haven't really leveled up anything else. It's mainly just um, archaeology. I tend to focus on one skill at a time. I mean, I'm doing farming on the side, just like daily chickens on the player-owned farm and the crystal blossoms, but I'm not doing farm runs at the moment. Uh... What else is there to say? I'm 205 pages in, so maybe by the end of this, uh, well, when I get to 113, I might get another blueprint to sell, so that'll be great. I wish they could um, put uh, this cosmic accumulator in your tool belt to save. Uh, inventory space um, I'll probably post that on the forums and maybe on reddit maybe like a jmod will read it because like it just sits there and it does it automatically so why not just put it in your tool belt So, using the Am Lord, see it just sounds weird, right? I just call it Omen because it, you can kind of, it's an anagram for Omen, I think. But Am Lord uh, method, that's how I get my porters. Um, a viewer asked how I get my porters, that's how I got it. Uh, yeah, I think I mentioned that in the last episode as well. So the Amlord um, thieving slash pickpocketing method. You do need 91 thieving, 93, I think. One of those. It's like quite high, but thieving is quite easily trained up. Um, running things out of, to say. What else can I say? Uh, why is this always on range? So out of the three combat triangles, melee, mage, and range, I like range the most. Uh, why? Uh, I just like taking out enemies from afar without taking damage. And mage uses consumable runes, whereas range you can pick up your arrows. So what else to say? Uh, I've got my archaeology pit a um, really long time ago. I think I got mine at level 74. Um, I don't know, I don't really summon it. I can. Oh, wrong pit. You know what, I'll show you my pit. Uh, so this one, pits. So, yeah. So what other skilling pits do I have? I've got um, Malcolm the Firefly, I think. I've got Morty for the Exolotl HP one. Um, I got Flo for the Fletching. I got Willow for Divination. 
I think I got um, Rocky for mining as well. Uh, I've been attempting to get uh, Mojo, but um, no luck yet. Hence why my agility is so high. I kind of do like agility. It's not that bad. It's quite relaxing. And no Ralph yet, but still trying. And no Bubbles either, which, again, if you notice that some skills are higher than others, it's partly because I've been trying to get the pets for them. So you'll notice that they're kind of near balance, or like they're all kind of similar levels, except for some outliers like Agility, fishing and so oh yeah I got um scarecrow uh, brains for farming so I got the farming pet um, been training slayer trying to get the pet as well but um, kind of need that to be 120 so training those Okay, I think that's my pet story. Will I eventually have all of them? It comes down to RNG, like I can't do anything about that. Alright, I think I've hit my 10 minute mark. Siren spirits are great. They're good for resources. It may just be a random um, uncut diamond or like some planks or whatever, but those resources add up over time. Also, side note, you can get two at a time. Um, this is just anecdotally, but I got two blessings of the god earlier today. And it applies for the Siren Spirits as well, so sometimes you can get two at a time. I wonder if I can show you it. Show me my history. No. Doesn't go far that back. Okay. Well, just take my word for it. Well, you don't have to believe me. Alright, it's definitely hit the 10 minute mark. Um, so thanks for watching, hope you had a great day, be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications, thanks for watching, until next time, see ya!